What is up, Boo Boo Gang? So today, we're going to Childish Gambino, This is America, official video. So, this has been requested yeah, we seen by Boo Boo Gang. Y'all yeah, like, told me that people have been requesting this drink. Yeah. I guess people like to hear me uh, go, you know, <laughs> go on the tangent, I guess. <laughs> You know what I'm oh, Lately, I've been going off on a, you know what I'm saying? I've been going off on a lot of things. Kanye West, them other rappers that was doing drugs in the video. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here to speak my mind, man. You're not like other the actors and in, and in, in, on YouTube. It's just like we're gonna speak our mind and we're gonna tell the truth, right? To the best of our ability, man. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So I don't see a problem with what you do. You just I don't see no problem with you. I don't see no problem with me. Bro. You know what I'm saying? But I, that like that's our job. Older people are supposed to teach young people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not I'm not preaching to you. I'm just trying to, you know, me give you some game, you know. Exactly. I say, just to hit you with that game. You have to learn from my dad, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And I can learn from y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the the old can teach the young and the young can teach the old, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's 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 each one teach one, man. This is what this is about, yeah. I'm never the type of person to be like, I know everything and I come off to be like, damn, I got all the answers because I don't. But what I do know, I share. You don't have to have the same opinions or the same thoughts, but just peep what I'm saying. You know what I mean? And and kind of analyze it before y'all start to, you know, like some of the people. I'm not saying the people that support us, but I'm saying the ones that don't, they come in and make comments. But actually sit and listen to what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> and, and and then you can let you know, me decipher if I'm over here just doing this or if I'm really you know what I'm saying? No matter what, you have to respect other people's opinions. So even if you watch my dad and he's trying to teach y'all but y'all don't agree, just respect his opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But just analyze and think about what people say before y'all jump out the windows. And, and so I'm bringing some evidence to the game. Because I can bring evidence about drug use. On what it does to your body. What it does to your mind. So if you're going to sit here and tell me that that's cool to be doing. Then bring your evidence and show me do your evidence. Do some research. And I bring my evidence to you. And straight up and bomb you with drug use. Let's get into the uh, video. <laughs> so if y'all hear any noise outside, there's people working outside, so don't mind their, you know, they doing what they doing. Just saying. Just, that's just a heads up. <laughs> anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. The dude that was playing the guitar, he just shot the dude in his head and then gave him the gun. After the fact. So, he's saying, I got the strap, I got to carry it, and he got the uh, school children dancing with him. Basically, this could be... This could be symbolizing as the youth is following these these entertainers doing the dances and the things of that nature. That's kind of what J. Cole was talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's who they get, the youth. You know what I'm saying? Right. But they were following him. And at the start, he killed that dude. Right. Mm. Wow. Dang, that's bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. But did you, yo? But did you hear what they said though? Before, before he shot him, get your money. Oh, I did you, okay. you ain't hear that. Mm. But another thing is, but when you serving the Most High, the the last thing on your mind it should be about getting money. It should be about changing yourself. It should be about you manifesting righteousness instead of right. instead of wearing my money. The money gonna come. We all need money to live, but that should not be your main objective. You know what I'm saying? One of the scriptures say, the Lord says, uh, seek seek the kingdom first and everything else should be added unto you. So, worry about changing yourself and, and the Most High know what you need before you need it. So, that shouldn't be your main objective. They singing it and like they doing everything that they doing in the church, but then they, but then he comes in and then shoots them yeah, in the churches. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Like this is what's happening in America. Right. You know what I'm saying? All over the all all over America, churches like cats is coming in there just blowing people away. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he's basically turning up. But then you also got the shootings and the kids following the people that are turning up. Right. And people just living life as stuff is going on. Is that like like riots? 
this is is but basically like right the what happened after the shooting yeah basically no but it's like they, people get killed but then they go right back into having fun right like nothing happened yeah this is what happens in America every day mass is like this is the time where people should be organizing and changing their communities instead of this somebody getting shot and then they're going right back to party and having a freaking good time right you know what I'm saying all people want to do is to stay getting lit, having a good time, and trying to forget about what's going on in the world. That's the problem with society today. Hmm. With too much, too much stuff was going on all the time. This is crazy. Yeah, on their phones. On their phones. Hmm. Like, well, what's that? Is that like that's a fire behind them? Yeah, something, something's going on. Behind yeah, them. yeah, yeah. But look. But why do they have the mask on? What's I don't the mask? know. But but they on their phones. Right. They're like, distracted. Uh, exactly. So they distracted by their phones. Notice notice now that people don't write letters no more. <laughs> right. Every time you go to dinner. I, yo, I've been to so many restaurants and I see people with their family. They like this on their phones. Right. Nobody's talking. Nobody's saying, yo, how was your day today? What did you, what did you go to today? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I did this, I did this, mom, I did this, dad, I did this, son, I did this, daughter. It, it's just straight like this. Exactly. I see people walking down the streets, they walk into a goddamn pole. Bow. Just straight distracted. Exactly. But y'all say y'all not programmed. Come on, man. They pull out technology. People say, oh, the times is changing. No, it's just a group of people that come up with ideas and they feed it to the masses of the people and then the masses of the people follow technology, follow the ideas of what's going on in society and these people be a small group of people. They say, oh, well, we just want to make an ism, this sexism or whatever it is, they push the idea to the masses of the people and then the masses of the people jump on it like it's theirs. Right. But it's actually somebody else's agenda. And like you're doing exactly what they want you to do. Even myself, when I was younger, I followed trends or I followed ideas that we saw in the world. Everybody do. But it comes a point where you th where you get conscious of 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 righteousness and you f and like you figure out like listen, I got to stop following the world and following what everybody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? So look, look at them. There's a fire right here in the cut, right? Yeah. But but they got mask on and but what they doing? Instead of them trying to get away from the the the, the fire or whatever's going on in the background, they over there on their phones, mm. like it ain't nothing. A lot of the times, what they try to push out into society, they target the kids, the youth. Always. My generation, my age. Always. No, or younger. Or younger, yeah. Younger. It'd be like they trying to get. Because even the generation after me. No, but they trying to get them at toddlers. They trying to get right. them two, three, four years old. They trying to get them young. I've seen. You feel um, me? A lot of toddlers know how to work phones. Exactly. Like it's, a lot. It's, instead of them, but I guarantee you, can they read? Can they write? Can they comprehend? Can they understand context of what they're reading? Hell no. Right. But they can sure tell you about a goddamn phone. When the last time y'all actually wrote a letter to somebody? It's dudes in jail that can read and write more than y'all can, because that's all they could do is just read and write on a piece of paper. Y'all doing this all the goddamn time. It's not wrong with having a phone and texting. I'm not saying that it's not wrong with it. But it's just like everybody's always on their phone. They want to be doing selfies. They want to go live. They want to do all this stuff. All the girls want to follow other girls that's posing with pictures and, and, and you know, twerking all in the, 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 the Instagrams and all the other stuff. So everybody, it's monkey see, monkey do. Everybody want to follow what everybody else is doing. They say, oh, we're not programmed. This is just... The new age. Come on! You're programmed! Anyway, let's get back into the rest of this. <laughs> it, it was a creative video. Um, some of the things I didn't understand, I'm gonna be honest. But some of the things I did understand. You know what I'm saying? Right. From my perspective, the video was about getting lit, but not. It, it's like things is going on in this, this world right now, especially in, in this country that we live in. I think it's about like not living in reality and being distracted by other things and not knowing your surroundings and knowing what's going on in the world. All right. There's certain books out there that tell you that they created uh, entertainment, amusement, 
to keep the, the masses asleep. Right. To where you are worrying about going to Six Flags and Disney World and 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 going to clubs and, and just, just just going out having a good time while these people destroying this country and the constitution and passing laws and but then when you wake up you're like yo when they pass that nigga you've been sleep because you've been worrying about having a good time they've been taking and moving sometimes you have to sit back and examine the world and and know what's going on in this world instead of always trying to have fun fun is cool but it seems like people trying to escape the problems, you can't escape something that's right in front of your face to keep you asleep. And they target the youth before they target anybody else. Right. Off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Like the youth get it first. In schools, music, they, they get attacked first with all this, with all these new ideas that these people bringing out. Because it's all to keep you asleep. Right. From my perspective. So that's what I think about the video. You know what that I'm saying? That was a good video, good message. Yeah, good message. Yeah. If all you want to do is just be entertained and you want to have fun because you're saying, oh, oh, I only live once. Sometimes you got to just chill out and educate yourself. It don't matter what it is. You know what I mean? But this is, it, but it seems like today, like the youth, especially the youth, um, ask all them people in your live one day. It was like, I think like 50 people in your live. And I asked, I said like, when the last time you ever read books? Do you know only four people said, I read books? Everybody else said, I don't read books? That's sad, yo. It is. That's why y'all niggas don't know nothing. And sometimes it's not about reading, but sometimes it's just about observing the world. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Your surroundings. Now y'all niggas want to be getting high, drinking, popping pills. Y'all niggas is walking zombies out here. That's why they can do whatever they want to do to you. Pass laws. Cops can... can could blow your ass away because you freaking sleep mentally, spiritually, and mentally you asleep. Wake up. That's my advice. Wake up. I agree. You know what I'm saying? You agree. Yes, I agree. You agree. You gotta have a balance in this world. It's okay to have fun and it's okay to turn up, but it, it's also good to educate yourself and know your surroundings and learn. Just have a balance. Right. Fun and education. I don't mean education going to a school. I mean education. You educating yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? By reading, by studying, by 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 just learning things. And just being intelligent. Yeah, just being intelligent in the world because it's common sense out here. And you know, a lot of niggas don't got common sense. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it real with you. The hell with, the hell with being intelligent. Like, y'all don't even got common sense out here. Common sense is not common anymore. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Shout out to Childish Gambino, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, this video was definitely... Uh, it was dope, man. Yeah, man. Like, dudes, like, a lot of artists are starting to do videos like this. Like, right. Tony Lucas, Logic. Like, a lot of these artists, you know what I'm saying, it's starting to be creative. You know what I'm saying? And, like, right here, not going to be no commercial, you know, like, out on the, like, you know, on the radio or, you know, like, right. they ain't going to be really blasting this. So, stop, stop being more... Proactive in your children's lives and, and know what the hell they are into. Otherwise, you can't call yourself a parent. You're just a nigga that's taking care of somebody. Putting food, clothing, and shelter instead of being active in their life. Talking to them about the ins and outs of the world. What to stay away from. Explaining to them what to stay away from. Explain to them why. If you do this, this is going to happen. Be a freaking parent, man. I'm active in my daughter's life. I know what the hell she doing. Where she at. All that. So be, be more active. So it's up to us to teach our children. So when they have children, they can teach their children. Then it goes on and on. But if you're just gonna be like, get out my face, get out, go outside. Like you don't know who your children hanging around with, who they doing it with, what, what they doing, where they going. But then when they do something, they don't got no business doing, who fault is that? They wind up freaking in jail or dead. Who fault is that? Their fault? No, it's your fault. A lot of things I can say, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just end it on that. Peace, we out, man. Peace out.